Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Monsters of the Trench Sunlight hasn't hit the bottom of the Mariana Trench in nearly a billion years. The pressure inside the world's deepest pit is so immense it would squeeze your body into mush. To get an idea of exactly how much pressure is in the deep sea, normal atmospheric pressure is 14.7 pounds per square inch. At the bottom of the Mariana Trench, it is more than 16,000 psi. This is why the Titan submersible was gone so quickly. Experts say that under the immense pressure of the deep sea, vessels can easily implode and result in instant death for anyone on board. Bob Ballard, a member of the team that found the Titanic wreck in 1985, said, I don't think people can appreciate the amazing energy involved in the destructive process of an implosion. It just takes out and literally shreds everything. ABC News reports that though the Titan had a composite hull with inbuilt sensors that could withstand high pressures near the sea floor, any defect could result in a near instantaneous implosion in less than 40 milliseconds. So imagine this extreme environment that is hard for us to explore even with all of our modern technology. With all the darkness and pressure, what kinds of things are lurking in the depths of such an inhospitable place? And how could anything live in total darkness where the water temperature hovers around freezing? Most of the animals that live in the trench are small, things like bacteria and crustaceans. There is far more life at the top of the trench. But as you get deeper, things tend to get a little spread out. The Mariana Trench plunges more than 36,000 feet into the Earth. It extends about 1,500 miles, and it's over 40 miles wide. So there is plenty of room for all kinds of monsters to live comfortably. One of the monstrous creatures that lives in the trench is the gulper eel. It looks like a mouth attached to a stubby tail, like it doesn't even have a body. Scientists say the bizarre shape of the monster helps it survive the crushing pressure of the depths. Its mouth is also more bizarre than any other creature's mouth in the world, as it looks like a weird mix between a serpent and a pelican. There is also the Yeti crab, which is covered in soft blonde hairs and lives in super hot hydrothermal vents. The hatchet fish is another monstrosity, glowing with bioluminescence like a black sea dragon. And that's only to name a few. And now for number 9, but first, it's shout out time! I want to give a big thank you to Romeo Joseph and Mr. Tyler Gard for watching and supporting this channel. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to join the Origins Explained family. Number 9. Spooky Sounds Scientists were recently left stumped when they began to pick up spooky sounds emanating from the Mariana Trench. The sound was described as a mix of dubstep and an underwater roar. The lead author on the study, Sharon Newkirk from Oregon State University, said part of the sound was a low-frequency moaning, similar to the moaning of baleen whales, but it was different from most whale calls because it had a weird, twangy sound. After months of speculation and research, scientists at Oregon State finally came to an agreed-upon conclusion. The bizarre sound from the trench is most likely a new, never-before-heard call from a whale. The sound itself was picked up by acoustic ocean gliders. These are highly advanced instruments that travel autonomously throughout the ocean, capable of descending up to 3,000 feet. Scientists don't know what kind of whale made the sound, which they are now calling the Western Pacific Bio-Twang. However, they think it most closely resembles the noise from a dwarf minka whale, which lives on the Great Barrier Reef near Australia. The weirdest part is that the sound came from the Mariana Trench, a place you wouldn't typically expect to find a whale. It really makes you think, if there is a whale somewhere in the trench making crazy noises, what other giants could be down there? Number 8. The Deepest Fish The Mariana Snailfish is the biggest creature at the deepest point in the world. Just off the coast of Guam, at the very bottom of the trench, scientists discovered the Pseudoliparis soiree. It's a snailfish that's only about 4 inches long, yet it's the top predator in its ecosystem. The fish was videotaped for the first time at a shocking depth of over 24,000 feet below sea level. The snailfish isn't a particularly rare animal in our oceans. It lives in a lot of different environments, including far from the Mariana Trench in the kelp forests of the Bering Strait. Mackenzie Geringer, one of the members of the international research team behind the discovery, 
says snailfish have been found in other trenches too, but according to her, they are always a little bit different. During expeditions in 2014 and 2017, the team caught 37 snailfish for the first time in the Mariana Trench. They used special floating traps to capture the strange animals. They also caught photographic evidence of the fish near the very bottom of the trench. The Mariana snailfish is so tough it can withstand pressure of 11,680 pounds per square inch. But how can a simple fish survive such intense pressure? Scientists are still struggling to answer the question. Mackenzie Geringer thinks it might be stabilizing molecules helping the fish. The animal may have specially adapted enzymes that protect it from being squished. Right now, scientists are still working on the morphology of the fish. And in the future, they plan to understand how any animal can adapt to such radical pressure. Number 7. Snails and Jellies The snailfish is the big boss at the bottom of the trench, but it certainly isn't alone. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration recently took their vessel, the Okeanos Explorer, to the Mariana Trench. The Okeanos Explorer was originally a Navy surveillance vessel, but it was refitted with advanced water probes. So now, it's used to take pictures of underwater creatures. Almost as soon as the scientists started their study, they found animals. They discovered blind lobsters and sea anemones living on the backs of hermit crabs. And amazingly, they even found a new glowing jellyfish. One thing to remember about exploring the Mariana Trench is that scientists don't always have a way to bring back specimens with them. On the Okeanos Explorer, all they were really able to do was take photographs of things, which is probably better for the animals. They took a picture of a rare silk shell snail, capturing its shell decorated in yellows and reds like a fiery volcano. Scientists think it could be a new species, but all they have is a photograph. They also discovered a new, unknown species of sponge. But by far the craziest thing photographed was an acorn worm on the sea floor in the Twin Peaks Trench. These worms are utterly hideous and don't look like anything else on the planet. An acorn worm looks as though a jellyfish mixed its DNA with a sea snake, but even that's a little too tame. Acorn worms are like electric eels with translucent flesh and glowing purple heads. Number 6. Aliens in the Trench Scientists found a jellyfish from outer space living in the Mariana Trench. Well, in all honesty, it's unlikely that the jellyfish is really from space. But it does look more alien than most things on our planet. Researchers used a remotely operated vehicle to visit the Enigma Seamount inside the trench. This is a mountain, yes, a real mountain, so deep underwater it's surrounded by creatures nobody has ever seen before. Scientists were absolutely amazed when they came across a jellyfish glowing with blinking lights like it was a UFO. The jellyfish looked more like some kind of alien mothership than a living animal. The jellyfish appears to have two different sets of tentacles. Some of its tentacles are short, while the others are extremely long. They all sprout out of its pulsating body like stray hairs. It was discovered by researchers with NOAA and they believe it's an ambush predator. It casually floats through the trench waiting for a creature to get attracted to its bright lights. This thing puts on its own light show to trick its prey. It lives about 2.3 miles underwater in an area of total darkness and isolation where not many other creatures have ever been found. Number 5. Upside Down Anglerfish The upside down anglerfish is even weirder than the ordinary anglerfish. The normal anglerfish has big fangs and a glowing lure that dangles from its head. It can be found at various depths throughout the Mariana Trench. But the upside down anglerfish lives in the Kermadec Trench. This trench is located in the South Pacific Ocean and reaches depths of over 36,000 feet. It's barely shallower than the Mariana Trench and holds just as many mysterious monsters in its black expanses. But because it isn't quite as deep, most people have never heard of it. The upside down anglerfish was found in November 2022 thanks to a team of researchers from China and New Zealand. The animal's proper name is the whipnose angler, and Daniel LaDuke, a marine biologist from New Zealand, said it's an exceptionally rare creature. 
As you can likely gather from its nickname, this particular fish swims upside down. It cruises around with its head facing the floor and its glowing lure dangling the wrong way. Scientists don't know much about it, and nobody can figure out why it chooses to swim upside down. Its lure is also way longer than the lures of other anglerfish. The whipnose drifts motionlessly through the trench as if dead, waiting for something to get close enough to eat. Why do you think the angler swims upside down? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Number 4. The Liopleurodon Some people think there could still be a megalodon living somewhere on this planet. In the Pacific Ocean, 124 miles from the Mariana Islands, there is the dark and mysterious realm of the Mariana Trench. And if a megalodon is still alive, conspiracy theorists say it must live in the trench. But what if it isn't a megalodon that lives down there? What if it's a different beast, a horrifying monster called Liopleurodon? Liopleurodon was by far one of the most menacing animals that ever roamed the sea. It could grow over 22 feet long, which isn't nearly as big as a megalodon, but it was still an apex predator. Its more manageable size would have allowed it to remain undetected in the modern world. Because as cool as a secret megalodon would be, it's unlikely humans have gone all this time without seeing a shark the size of a whale. Liopleurodon was a marine reptile. It evolved in the Jurassic period 166 million years ago. Then it likely went extinct shortly after the apocalypse of the dinosaurs. Some have speculated Liopleurodon was already living in the Mariana Trench. Analysis of its skull has shown that it likely hunted from extreme depths and was suited to living in deep marine environments. It may have even narrowly avoided disaster by continuing to dwell in its little pocket of security. The theory is that all of these millions of years later, Liopleurodon is still stalking the dark waters of the trench. What do you think? Let me know in the comments! Number 3. The Deepest Forest Over a mile underneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean, there is an extraordinarily strange forest. In 2017, a team of scientists identified a submerged volcano covered in underwater plant life. But instead of trees, the forest is made entirely of corals. Some of the corals look like fuzzy bottle brush plants, but for the most part, they don't resemble anything from the terrestrial world. The forest is massive, crawling along the sides of the sunken volcano, and among the coral are glass sponges, looking like frilly white spiderwebs caught in an invisible breeze. Many of the glass sponges have tall stalks, making them resemble floating melons. But what exactly is an underwater forest? In reality, the sponges that look so much like plants are animals. But they aren't like any animals most Earthlings are familiar with. Sponges don't have brains or muscles. They have no organs or facial features. Instead, they spend all of their lives anchored to the bottom of the sea and feasting on particles that sift through their bodies. They essentially breathe in seawater, extract nutrients from the water, and then exhale. They essentially breathe in seawater, extract nutrients from the water, and then exhale the water they don't need, just like plants on the surface using oxygen to grow and thrive. Number 2. Exploring the Depths In 2019, Victor Vescovo completed the deepest dive in human history. He descended approximately 35,853 feet to the deepest point in the ocean. He reached the very bottom of the Mariana Trench, and once there, he found colorful rocks, strange, skittering creatures, and even human garbage. This was a big deal because it was the third time anyone made it to the bottom of Challenger Deep, the deepest pit in the trench. In 1960, an oceanographer named Don Walsh made it into the trench, but only reached 35,814 feet. Then, 50 years after Don Walsh, Canadian director James Cameron reached 35,787 feet. Those were the only two people who ever reached the bottom up until now. Victor is the third brave explorer to venture into the trench's depths. He stole the record from Don Walsh by a little over 100 feet. It might seem crazy, but it only took Victor about three and a half hours to reach the bottom of the trench. He went down in a submersible vehicle called the DSV Limiting Factor. 
It took less time to reach the bottom of the deepest place in the ocean than it does to fly from one side of the country to the other. Number 1. The Dragon's Triangle The Dragon's Triangle is the Japanese version of the Bermuda Triangle. For over a thousand years, the Japanese have called it Mano Umi, the Devil's Sea. Fishermen have told stories of dragons that rise out of the depths and drag boats to the bottom of the ocean. In 1281 AD, when Kublai Khan's Mongol army tried to invade Japan, they were stopped by a pair of seemingly random storms. Two abrupt storms decimated the Mongolian ships and prevented the invasion. Ever since, the Japanese have talked about the kamikaze winds, summoned over the Dragon's Triangle to sink 900 Mongolian vessels. But it wasn't the only time ships would be destroyed in massive numbers. Charles Berlitz was the guy who made the Bermuda Triangle famous in the 1980s. He also wrote a book about the Dragon's Triangle in 1989. According to Charles, five Japanese military vessels vanished inside the triangle between 1952 and 1954, and this resulted in a total of 700 lives lost. The triangle stretches from Guam, right next to the Mariana Trench, to Tokyo and Taiwan, and then back to Guam. The area has spawned stories of UFO sightings and alien visits, not to mention the alleged hauntings on the high seas. And in 1955, a Japanese research vessel that was sent to study the Devil's Sea disappeared. All 24 crew members were lost and were never found again. The incident forced Japan to label the entire area a danger zone. And yes, the Dragon's Triangle is suspiciously close to the world's deepest and most mysterious trench. Do you think the Mariana Trench is somehow connected to the Dragon's Triangle? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you next time. Bye!